Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way, Manchester United 3, West Ham United 0. This is uh, a game that we had to win and we obviously has, uh, we have done uh, what is so important for us today because this victory today of to, uh, tonight, or to, you can say in the afternoon, depending on where you're watching the video, it's, uh, it helps Manchester United to go off the table above um west ham yeah guys i'm going to talk to you tell you guys my opinion about this game my reaction because the i mean some of one of our fans here uh prince odion keeps saying we're going somewhere i haven't heard from him for a while but i think as a united fan we all have to be happy you know when i was watching that the, the, the um the, the game i was reading uh, going through twitter going through facebook and there are still some manchester united fans who would love to see ten Hag get sacked there's still some manchester united fans who love uh, Manchester United to be to lose the game, so they should be proven right. Like, okay, yes, Ten Hag is not good to manage Manchester United, and that is upset. I mean, I still don't understand. Well, happy birthday to Rasmus. We have problem in the studio here yeah, with our connection. Happy birthday to Rasmus. Well, and he came. I mean, today he's twenty one, and he scored that fantastic goal that. Uh, kicked off the game generally in my view in this game what what can i say i think west ham are more or less in our level to be honest just that the difference between west ham and manchester united is the quality of players i think we have a more uh, be a better players than on that's the good side of the game but in the whole yes three points united had the three point bet i am so worried for the injury of uh uh leecher lisandro martinez why because lisandro martinez is the player we need going forward we need him to be fit and uh, hopefully it's not really that serious hopefully it's uh we're going to get some information about his uh, uh situation because the game we have next game we are going to villa and that's a game which we have to be solid we have we need a professional performance i know we did it without him in liverpool we can do it still do it without him but i think he's a very important um uh, person in the puzzle of manchester united today uh, and I hopefully he will get back strong, uh, strong and play for Manchester United again. So guys, we're going to do our player ratings here with my Manchester United. We'll give our player ratings. I'll tell you guys for free. Yes, I, I know you see on the thumbnail different players. I know you, you're a football guy. If you're a football fan, you are more interested with those who score the goals. Uh, Ganacho did score two goals today and I want to prove to you that the mainstream men they have no clue the way they give their man of the match by saying that my man of the match today is a player I think most of you will never even choose him as a man of the match but uh, I'll respect your choice but my man of the match today for me it's um Diago Dalo. I think Diago Dalo was so vital in the way we play. And I want to explain to you why. Look, United is a team that when we concede goals, we start panicking. We need to understand the situation in which we are as a club. We are not the finished product yet. When we concede goals, there is a level of panicking. You remember the deflection, the, the block that he did um, just, I think, after uh, Martinez was replaced. The counter-attack, I think a big body in our defense today was uh, Harry Maguire. Honestly, no, no hard feelings. Maguire didn't have a good game. You agree with me because, you know, he had a normal game below Maguire's standards, you know, game. I think he didn't. I think Kobe Mwenu, uh, he has, you can see that he was a bit tired. He's a young guy, 18 years of um, age. He cannot manage game. When you look at Kobe Mwenu, you look at a player like Veran, who, by the way, Ten Hag did not start Veran because he said before the game is that Deran has played three games. Deran is what, 34, 35. He cannot cope that intensity for long. So it's all about management. It wasn't that Deran was dropped. But coming back to Kobe Menu, 18 years of age, when you see a player like that, the three games already and um, playing, he will need to manage them. What makes you to respect Bruno Fernandes is the energy um, uh, uh, that he plays every game, every minute, and still can cope. It's so difficult. I played football, maybe not in that level, but all football games are 90 minutes, and you need to appreciate it. So let's go straight to our player ratings. I think that's why you were here. I can tell you the man of the match for me is uh, 8.5 for me. 8.5 will be my Diago Dalo, full stop. And I think Diago Dalo was superb in that defense today. I will give him 8.5 man of the match. Match a like on the video if you think that Diago Dalo was your man of the match. Uh, goalkeeper for me, Onana. 
here I see he had a clean sheet, so I'll go for, for a six. I think there were some uh, actions that he proved his worth uh, where uh, his deflection. But Manchester United, we need to start being better on corner kicks. That we need. I think United is so vulnerable when we have on corner kicks. We need to work on that massively. Luke Shaw for me was a six, average six. Luke Shaw is a fantastic player, but for me he was under six today. I think there were many actions that he tried to overlap. We played against a very good West Ham team. This was a psychological game. This is a game in which I think let the scores don't blind you. Don't. It's not a weak team. It's just the same thing. Like hey, wait. I want to remind you guys. Chelsea lost four goals to two against Wolves that United trashed four goals to uh, four goals to three. And most of the journalists were talking about when I mean, if you watch the game, uh, most of the mainstream journalists were talking about it's only Wolves. And that only was beating mighty Chelsea. So, so you fans, if you're a Manchester United fan, please use your brains. You, there is a reason why you are a long fan in, 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 in a club like Manchester United. You need to tr get mature in the way you think. Don't allow yourself to get manipulated. I think Eric Ten Hag has done a good job. He has his flaws. My biggest problem with Eric Ten Hag as a manager of Manchester United is he doesn't. He is learning. I think you know the Premier League better than Eric Ten Hag. That's just the problem. Many foreign coaches who come to the Premier League, even Guardiola, you can see why he suffered a lot in his first year with Manchester City. You need to understand. You and I, we watch every game, so we have a, we have an idea who is a who to. I mean, we have all the knowledge because we are a consumer of this uh, product. So let's continue. Um, I think Lizardo Martinez, perfect defender for me, seven point five for me. Harry Maguire, I give Harry Maguire five. I mean, he was very lucky with that because he, he put us in a very difficult situation, Ari Magwe. Uh, Casemiro for me, seven. Uh, I think uh, Kobe Mwenu, seven, no, 6.5. There is an action in the midfield on the 40th minute when he was given the ball and he played it like a pro, like a top professional, someone who has been in the Premier League for a long time. Hold on, sir, guys. Uh, I am freezing. <laughs> and the AC is on. So I think, yeah. Um, I give Kobe Menu a, a strong seven. I think he was uh, he had a good game apart of the fatigue. Uh, Bruno Fernandez average game six. I think Bruno Fernandez was instrumental in our counter attack. Uh, the, the reason the reason why you might say United we didn't really control the ball that total total control is because we're playing against a defensive team and the way to break them because United isn't good at breaking a low block. So what will happen is. We try to get them very quick on the counter attack. That's the way you score. That's where you get players like Marcus Rashford and uh, Ganacho into play, even Rasmus Holland. So I think Bruno Fernandez was an average six. Marcus Rashford. If I don't know if you guys take a note with Marcus Rashford, this uh, he has been be, he has been increasing his work, um, his output. Let me put it this way. In defense, Marcus Rashford's defending habits are more or less okay. I mean, acceptable. Let me put it in a more in a very um uh cultural man acceptable so i give him a seven i give him a seven um uh alexander ganacho an eight two goals from ganacho very good uh uh very good um <clears throat> i would say overall game from ganacho goals i mean he's growing he didn't it's not like he had the best the best game of his life no so this was a very strange game. I think just the two goals made a difference, and uh, and Ganacho is a future superstar for Manchester United. Like it or not, if he continues that and being disciplined, I think he has all the attributes to be highly respected in the game in future. He is just 19, 19 or twenty, I think nineteen. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and uh, Rasmus Holland for me seven. His work rate. You need to understand football to understand why Rasmus Holland. Uh, is highly regarded, regarded by people who understand football Manchester United. Rasmus Holland is also an, a good example for some of you in media. Because what mainstream media does is they make they make a lot of because the modern media is all about clicks, clicks, clicks. So if I stand here and tell you that uh, Rasmus Holland is not a good player. This is why he's not a good player. The video will have clicks. It's all about clicks. It's not about truth. That's why sometimes it's uh, advisable not to take everything you see online in this uh, fan community because everybody has an agenda. You know that so it is very important. So what the mainstream, the mainstream media who understands the way main, media work is, they target certain players not because they are correct, but because they know that that will be a wow topic if you're if I'm making sense. So. Uh, a player like Ma uh, Rasmus Holland 
many players we've seen already, many uh, uh, sh uh, uh, outlets. I, I listen to Talk Sports, right? The football uh, radio stage Talk Sports, and there was a, there was a, a program there where they are talking. They are considering they are naming Rasmus Molan as a flop. This is a player who is still. We are out of the Champions League. He is still joined highest goals in, in the Champions League. So with the English media, sometimes I think. It's all about they are all, they are kind of jealous, but I don't think it's that. I think they really understand the way the media works, so they are very good at generating, uh, you know, that intrigue in uh, in the media. So don't fall into that. Rasmus Holland for me is a solid seven because today I would say yes. I'll get the, my man of the match eight point five for me is Diego Dalo. Uh, Marco, uh, uh, but I think we won this game today because of our. Attackers, yeah, we won the game because of attackers. <laughs> and West Ham, to be honest, to be honest, it's a good side. So you should, you shouldn't, uh, you should, you should always be happy to win such a game, such an opponent of a team. Which don't forget, they were, before starting the game, they were ahead of us at the table. So that is, that's that's uh, all I can tell you. Man of the match for me, Diago Dalo. I haven't spoken about the manager Ten Hag. Ten Hag got it right. He got it with Marcus Rashford in the previous. <laughs> A seven over, a seven, a seven over, over, over ten. That would be good. That would be a good score for Eric Tenak. So tell me what you think, guys. Who was your man of the match? What did you like? What did you dislike? If you had something to add, yeah, I'm not the perfect person, but if you have something to add, maybe I forgot some points here. Please make sure you do that, guys. Please make sure you share. Glory, glory, Manchester United, and hopefully we are going to go somewhere as uh, we hope to. Anyway, guys, great speaking to you, and yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.